We like deep cuts, and I'll say there are some deep cuts this season, and there's a couple that we purposely saved, you know, waiting for the right time. There's gonna be a lot of nostalgia in this final season, and you would think that we'd be out of it by now, yeah. but uh, we've saved some of the best for last. We've been through a lot to get to this point, but now we're finally on the same page. All right, back with my faves. How we doing? We are great. Good. How are we feeling today? Is it bittersweet? Is it mostly sweet, mostly bitter? How are we feeling? It's more sweet because there's been a lot of work. This has <laughs> been, uh, you know, listen, we love making the show. Making 15 episodes this season was fun. It was a long party with a group of people that we've, you know, fallen in love with for six seasons. But now that, you know, we're finished shooting, we're along for the fun ride. We're editing, we're watching the episodes come together and we watch them as fans ourselves as we're doing it. And it's been great to sort of not have a little bit less work to do. We can sit down. Well, yeah, 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 we can, yeah, we can sit, sit down, down. <laughs> and relax and enjoy, enjoy the ride right now. And what could possibly go wrong? This is a 40 year legacy. Going into this final season of Cobra Kai, what do you hope the fans take away from this final season? We just hope that they enjoy the, the big finale that we have planned for them. This is something that you don't get in TV a lot these days. You know, a show that's been on for six seasons that has the actual ending that was intended. It's been a roller coaster up to this point, and you know, we purposely set it up so that our final season would be the biggest one yet, but at the same time, we want to stay true to the original Karate Kids. So there's all the themes, all the feels that you've ever had, it's just gonna be amplified. So just hoping everyone loves it as much as, you know, we do. I mean, I might know a little bit about the editing because I was on set. Look for that on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but did you always know how the show was going to end? We did always know how the show was going to end to a degree. For the bigger characters, you know, that we have been on a journey with throughout every single episode of the six seasons, we did know how it was going to end. We never could have predicted just how many characters we would acquire along the way who would become meaningful to us and to the fandom who deserve their own bombastic endings as well. Mm -hmm. And that was something that we wanted to make sure we, as we entered season six and then as we entered the writer's room, that we were mindful of is making sure that this is a story that is more than Johnny and Daniel at this point. This is a story that has 40 characters you care about and each of those characters has 900 relationships and making sense of that landing so it felt honest and delivered upon expectations uh, was something that was a challenge, but uh, one that I think we accomplished. I feel like each season, like the karate ante gets upped. Usually I'm like anticipating some big brawl. It feels like this season, it's like back to back every single episode. <laughs> There's so much happening. I don't know if you can quantify, but how much karate is in this season? <laughs> it's all the karate is in this season. You all know, the karate. Yes. <laughs> we knew that we were building towards a world tournament. This was something that we've been talking about for years now. You know, you've seen some all valleys over the years from the movies 40 years ago to a couple all valleys in our show. To have world-class karate talent that are facing off against our kids was gonna raise everything to the next level. And this season, you get to see Cobra Kai takes on a sort of a new form yeah. with some martial artists. There's uh, formers that we that we cast who are actual world karate champions. And not only were they amazing at martial arts, but all of our kids have been learning how to kick and punch and flip and do all these things for six, seven years now. Those are technical terms. Those are, yes, exactly. That, yeah. I know my karate. Uh, <laughs> they've all progressed as martial artists themselves Themselves, and to have to face ag against on camera these world-class karate fighters, they all raised their games up. And it was fun having the different combinations of who's gonna fight who and having multiple people fighting against multiple people at a time. It's a, a karate barrage throughout. Rule number one, a man can't stand. Can't fight. There's so many Easter eggs throughout the show and callbacks to the past. What can you tease about this season that we can expect? I keep saying put Walton Goggins in here. But... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, that, that's a deep cut, but the, you know, we like deep cuts. And I'll say there are some deep cuts this season in terms of you know, if you're like a hardcore fan and know every single character from top to bottom in the, in the cast list, you'll definitely see a couple come back this season. And it's like this never ending tree that bears fruit, the original. 
original movies. We always find some piece of fruit that we haven't plucked yet every time we go into right. a season. And there's a couple that we've purposely saved, you know, waiting for the right time. And so there's gonna be a lot of nostalgia in this final season. And you would think that we, it, we'd be out of it by now, yeah. but uh, we've saved some of the best for last. Is it Hillary Swank? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you could guess by my tells, but we're not allowed to tell. You know, that was my movie. I watched that movie on a loop. Yeah. Like yeah, every we, time I hear Dreams we, by the Cranberries, I'm like, oh, it's when yeah, the, yeah, the monks exactly. are dancing. 100%. Absolutely. We saw Next Karate Kid in Spanish. Uh, yeah, well, neither of us know Spanish, by the way. Okay. But when we first moved to LA, I'll never forget, there was this one night where we were flipping through the channels and we see Next Karate Kid on, and it's in Spanish, and we just kept it on, watched the entire thing in Spanish. This was the type of thing we were doing while writing Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. So, yeah, okay. yeah, that's, that's true. true. So that's, that's where your headspace was. Yes. Yes. Imagine, yeah, yes. imagine our, yeah, they our thought state they knew of mind. Spanish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Miyagi-san buried secrets for a reason. If we open, anything is possible.